Hello everyone, uh, this is going to be part four of, uh, of my Civilization VI playthrough. Uh, for those of you that have watched the first three parts, uh, you'll probably have noticed that uh, things are actually fairly boring. Uh, I don't have a lot going on. It's, uh, you know, there's no wars or anything like that. I'm not even fending off missionaries coming in. Uh, and that's, uh, that's actually a little bit unusual, but I think it comes down to the initial uh, role I got for the terrain. See, I got a large collection of mountains along one border, and that severely curtails the... Uh, places where uh, somebody on the same continent can come in, uh, missionaries or uh, an army. But I, in, in the recent turns, uh, I've been seeing uh, uh, ships from uh, other uh, continents, so uh, it may well change. I may end up having, a, uh, having to uh, do battle uh, at sea. Uh, but I may not, as, as you can see here, my coastline is all northern coast, so uh, it's actually harder to reach. Um, yeah, I, I've been taking the friendship with my uh, immediate neighbors because while you're friends with them, they will not uh, be able to attack you. Now, you won't be able to attack them either, but if you're not planning to uh, go to war then there's no particular reason you shouldn't do the uh, friendship thing uh, just so you don't have to deal with it. Oh yes, the damn barbarian there uh, is gone, so that's good. Uh, something that uh, you should uh, make sure to, uh, to do is upgrade your ranged units so that your, uh, as, as I understand it, your uh, city uh, ranged attacks the strength of them does depend a little bit on your uh, your weakest, uh, either your weakest or your strongest ranged unit. But either way, you you want to be uh, up, upgrading your uh, uh, ranged units. So I've uh, and I've got this uh, frigate out here. I'm actually going exploring. Uh, because I need to find the other civilizations uh, and also to see if there's any spots that are worth uh, attempting to colonize because uh, I'm pretty hemmed in here that's the disadvantage of the starting uh, role I got here with these mountains it severely limited how fast I could expand now I've got a couple more spots I can stick cities on this continent and I'll probably do that but Let's see. Yeah, shipyard be a good thing for London. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, okay, so I was repairing that. Uh, well, at the very least, I'm taking out a bunch of these barbarians, so that's certainly going to be useful anyway. Uh, there must be a barbarian camp somewhere around here that's uh, not been cleared, probably on an island or something. Okay, that's humanism, so that allows uh, museums, uh, and those um, are definitely important for a cultural uh, uh, win uh, if you're going that way, and you might as well at least try to defend that to some extent. Now, let's see here. Um, I could make a run for suffrage here, which would get democracy for the government type, but uh, I'm not going to do that, uh, strictly speaking. I'm going for enlightenment because of uh, the tourism effect, uh, and that uh, certainly uh, uh, will help prevent somebody else from getting the uh, cultural victory. Uh, meanwhile, I'm... Uh, working on uh, improving my uh, territory there. Well, there's some land there. It's a cliff, so I'm not getting much, and hill, so I'm not getting much visibility onto it from the sea. But I'm gonna 
circumnavigate that just to see if there's a barbarian camp there because if there is that would explain where those ships are coming from uh, right so I built the theater square well I'll build the amphitheater as well and here I've got a dockyard uh, repaired my dockyard is repaired which is good uh, now what I think the industrial zone is the thing I should build uh, there's not enough production going on there so I, I really should um, let's see <clears throat> I should actually improve those sheep. That should help. Well, there's a barbarian there. Ah, there's the uh, the barbarians. They're up here. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, knock those guys out. At least until I get the uh, promotion on the frigate. Uh, but I might as well... Uh, kill those. What have we got here? Great scientist. A Eureka for chemistry. One random tech. Uh, sure, why not? Um, okay. Now the promotion has come there. Uh, right, so I need to uh, drop this guy here. Steam power, huh? and chemistry and there's a bug with those notifications in this version where it'll give you the same notification multiple times but the little notifier on the side showed both chemistry and uh, and the other one uh, there's actually quite a few bugs with notifications not popping up and so on in this particular version okay so I'm going to take the promotion yeah I'll go with bombardment um, right okay we have coal that's good uh, now let's see steam power more movement for embarked units uh, metal casting or astronomy let's see which one goes where I can never remember the tech tree but since you can look it up astronomy leads to scientific theory yes I'm going there uh, right uh, what can we build here we've just done the water mill uh, I think I'll go for the granary and then I'll probably go for the industrial zone uh, I'm just going to take out these other uh, barbarians here, uh, and mostly because they're just annoying. Uh, and the camp will spawn more of them anyway, so, you know, if you want to have the barbarians wandering around, they'll still be there. Uh, okay, I'm going to build a spy here. I think I'm going to need two spies, actually, so I'll build those. I'm just going to wander. There's the uh, camp. Uh, I can't clear it with the uh, frigate, so I uh, probably shouldn't bother. Now, here's why uh, I need to build the spies. Um, so I'm going to do that. And the AI doesn't really uh, spy anywhere but your capital, so you don't really have to defend, for the most part, your other cities. Uh, scientific theory has advanced. Uh, civic. Uh, let's see. Nationalism allows cores. Uh, camps are additional production and food. Uh, you know, I'm going to catch up on some of the cheaper ones there. We have four builds here, so that's one thing. Uh, repairing improvements doesn't take any uh, charges on your uh, builder. 
Uh, so you can actually have a builder hanging about just to repair pillaged uh, uh, terrain improvements and uh, it, you know that'll give you a perpetual contract basically um, oh right really okay uh, yeah I'll do the the sheep first uh, and then I'll go and put a mine on the coal uh, uh, somebody was defeated. Okay, now, I have a choice here. A factory is something I'll ultimately want uh, for, produ for the production. Uh, but I also have the choice of an art museum or an archaeological museum. Now, you need the art museum to to put the great works art from great artists, archaeology museums is where you put stuff your archaeologists dig up. Uh, typically, like there's a limited number of uh, both, but the number of archaeological artifacts is higher. But you do probably want at least one art museum, so I'm going to uh, build one. Okay, so that's Manchester. We'll keep that going. Uh, build my uh, pasture there. Take out the barbarian boat. That's the best thing you can do wandering around. Uh, it's take out the barbarian boats when you run into them. Colonialism, huh? Okay, so that's a spy. That's all the spies I can actually build. Um... So now I'm going to put up a bank, and uh, here, again, I've got the choice between an art museum and an archaeological museum. Uh, I'm going to actually put the archaeological museum here. You can only build one or the other. Now, I have a choice on where to set my spy. I actually want to do counter spying. Now, if I do it in the city center, it protects the commercial district the commercial hub, but it doesn't really protect anything else. Where And yet, if I uh, put it on the... Uh, um, the um, holy site, it protects the uh, uh, campus, but nothing else. Uh, so, it's... And then I could put it on the uh, heart, on, on the dockyard, and it protects nothing else. So this is actually a pretty uh, pessimal uh, city layout. Uh, and this is something that you should consider, uh, especially if you're playing against human players. Uh, now, what do I want to protect against? The uh, Probably the... Uh, let's see. Well... I probably want to protect. The question is, where am I going to put the industrial zone when I uh, build it? That's the question. Uh, I can move the spy when it comes time for that. So I'm going to uh, put the uh, spy on the holy site uh, for now. Uh, there is no doubt a better place to put him, but. You know, that's, uh, that's the way things go. Uh, so, you know, that's what happens when you don't actually uh, pay close enough attention to where you're putting things. And even then, sometimes, uh, you'd make that choice anyway. The, uh, the less than ideal city layout. Uh, what have we got here? the civics uh, what do I want here well I kind of want natural history so I can find the antiquity sites so that's what I'm going to do there 
and I'm going to get back my influence there. I'm just going to kill that uh, barbarian there. Okay, now I can uh, build my uh, coal mine. Uh, that should get uh, production much better uh, in uh, Newcastle there. Um, okay, so an enemy spy was killed. Uh, that's one of the uh, alternatives that can happen when, uh, uh, when a spy is stopped. Uh, another one is you capture the spy. Uh, now, I will tend to, unless I really need cash, I, I tend not to trade uh, spies back to their the original owner. I think, uh, since each uh, civilization can build a limited number of spies, that by doing that, I, re I seriously curtail their spying capabilities. Okay, what is this? I, I really wish they would do something different with those notifications. They're too intrusive. Unlike, the, like, I think it was a uh, in response to the complaint that they weren't uh, obvious enough in Civilization Five. But those are so intrusive that you just can't even see what's going on. And sometimes you get so many of them pop up that you can't actually see what the map is trying to show you. Um, Right, so that's a great writer. I definitely want the great writer. Uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, build up my influence there. Uh, right, so that's one uh, enhancement that came with the summer 2017 uh, patch is uh, repeating trade routes so you don't have to uh, spend all that time trying to work it out time and time again. So I'm going to of course, uh, build the great works. Whoops. Uh, so it looks like this is a small island over here. So I think uh, I might be well employed to uh, take my ship home and... No. Uh, and this is another bug. The AI will offer a deal that they won't accept. Uh, but I'm not going to trade my great works anyway. So... Uh, and this is what I was talking about, the uh, annoyance of those things. Okay, so that's two great works there. Oh, this is interesting. The Poland has built a uh, theater square in the, immediately beside mine. Or did I build mine beside theirs? Um, I can't remember which order it went in, but uh, it's kind of amusing. And it's not really all that unrealistic either. Um, okay, economics. Um, you know, there must not be anybody on this little this uh, island thing here, so I think it definitely is a good idea to uh, send uh, a settler or two out there. Uh, so I'm going to build industrial uh, zone uh, and you know what on top of the sheep here I think is the place to do it and it will be protected by the spy there uh, so that actually might be a, a good good option I'll I'll need a second spy somewhere over probably here so I'll, I'll need a district there to do that uh, that'll probably be a theater square, and, and I'll end up building the uh, a spaceport on one of those as well. Anyway, oh, what I should do is actually get me a settler. Uh, okay, now what? Uh, that's scientific theory. Okay, so I think the next thing I'll build here, will, I'm going to try for... Uh, no, I don't think I can build it. There. Anyway, uh, I will uh, go for... Well, what do I... 
what do I want to get to first? I want to get to uh, rocketry as quickly as possible so I can start building that space park because that's expensive. Uh, but I want to get up to steel as well. So I'm going to rush steel now. And then rocketry. Uh, the reason I want steel is for the urban defenses. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's... Uh, okay, yeah, there is a barbarian uh, camp there. Ooh! There's a, a city-state. Uh, what's uh, what's the Brussels thing? Uh, Fifteen percent production toward wonders. Yeah, not so. Uh, uh, anyway. Uh, no. Yeah, since the uh, summer update, those uh, trade pop-ups like that are far more frequently frequent and far less uh, productive. Uh, so hopefully the upcoming update fixes that. Okay, now what to build here. I probably want to get an industrial zone out here. So... I'm going to put it here. Uh, fill a policy slot. Uh, right. Well, I want that one for the gold. Uh, okay. And I want to uh, clobber that. And then I'm going to go back over here and do I want to, no, I'll, I'll do the uh, settler here. Uh... Oh, it looks like I'm going to get Forbidden City, so that'll be good. I did. Ah, here, I'm going to do the factory there. The uh, factory is a uh, regional building, so it will have influence beyond the uh, the city it's in. Liberalism is a nice policy, actually. Uh, but I'm going to go with the 100% science, because I want to uh, get the science moving along faster. Uh, oh, right, I already did that. I'm going to take that uh, swordsman with me and uh, I think I'm going to aim for that uh, spot. Uh, Okay, and then I'll probably park the ship over here and then pick off the barbarian units as they show up. Uh, of course, the Brussels uh, unit there will probably help with that too. Okay, is there anything useful on this uh, little island here? Well, there's coal. There's, uh, what, uh, three uh, tribal villages. So I guess those are useful enough. Uh, Oxford University has to be grassland or plains adjacent to a campus with a university. Uh, I have a university. One, two, I should be able to buy the tile. Uh, and now I can build it. Oxford University is one wonder that's worth going after. Uh, simply uh, simply put, it's uh, it has a real benefit. 
and uh, that can, and it's worth going after if only to deny your opponents the uh, the building or the wonder. Um, right. Okay, I'm going to build the uh, uh, production buildings. Uh, okay, take out the uh, uh, the barbarian there. Uh, okay, there's my settler coming. Uh, Cleo built a wonder. Repeat that one, and yeah, I'll repeat that one too. You know what? Seems like a smart thing to uh, get another one of those guys out there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to park the uh, boat here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do also is uh, pop out a couple more settlers. Uh, okay, Liverpool, factory time. Envoy. Uh, now, I'm going to actually fight for Buenos Aires. Uh, right, okay. So I'm going to send that to the city-state there. And then, over here, I should have enough for a settler. Uh, and then I'll uh, get the... Uh, get this uh, gap over here filled in. Oh, I completed a quest that I didn't know I was working on. Okay, I'm going to build the factory there too. Now, while the uh, regional effect of the factories doesn't stack, uh, it's useful to have the, uh, the factories nonetheless, uh, at the very least, so you have them in every city. So, you, you know, uh, in case uh, one that you're relying on for production gets... Uh, uh, pillaged uh, or otherwise uh, damaged uh, and that can happen so uh, having them means you don't lose production when that does uh, yeah not so useful so I got 71 gold per turn that's actually a pretty decent uh, uh, gold uh, return um, Sumeria settler uh, you know what? I think that is the spot to settle. If I could, because it's in range of a mountain for irrigation, for an aqueduct. But maybe here is better, on the desert hill there. And I'll see what this guy does. If he gets in my way. Well, he didn't. One, two, three. Yeah, he could settle there. Uh, okay. One thing I wish is that counter spy missions would uh, last longer. Uh, so I'm going to try settling there. Okay. That's why I parked the uh, boat there, so I could pick those off. Well, that's not a wonder I was going for, so that's okay. Uh,. Right. Okay, he just parked. So he must have been going for that hill. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to take a shot at the horses there. Uh, right, and I'm going to set up a city there. Now these guys are really close together, so that may be not so ideal, but... 
it's not so bad either. Uh, I'm going to, what am I going to start with here? I guess I'll start with the uh, the harbor, I guess. Uh, and now here's the thing with this ability that uh, uh, that uh, England has. You can end up with units that you can't actually build um, when you found a city on another uh, continent uh, from your capital. Um, and that's... Uh, uh, well, that's that's okay, I guess, but it it doesn't seem logical. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, that's where the uh, horse went. Okay. Uh, Sure, uh, I'm, I'm aiming for a peaceful uh, uh, path this time, so I'm not overly concerned about the uh, friendship side of things. And this is why I took the uh, swordsman with me there. Uh, okay, so what have we got here? Uh, bank or art and archaeolo archaeological. Um, Roar Valley is uh, one that... Uh, uh, is uh, nice to have as well. Um, I want to take a look here. Whoops. No. Uh, is Ruhr Valley possible here? Uh, must be adjacent to a river and an industrial zone. So, yeah, it won't be practical there. Um, I'm going to go for it in Manchester here, actually. The reason I'm doing that is again to deny um, deny it to my opponents because it's uh, a boost on uh, production. Uh, right. Well, I guess I can build a factory there too. Uh, I think I can go for another uh, settler actually for up here. Uh, I think it would be here, I was thinking, if I recall. Okay, so there's an antiqu one antiquity site. Um, okay. Uh, civil engineering gives farms on grasslands and hills. I think that's useful. Uh, Brussels uh, might be worth it on at Brussels. Yeah, the uh, production city states are actually really nice if you can maintain the three or six uh, envoys there. Uh, okay, I'm at the spot where I wanted to build, so I'll do that, uh, and that gets me a. Uh, unit here, which I'll send down to uh, clear the uh, camp, and uh, send another one up here to uh, clear the, the tribal villages. Uh, and here, I definitely want the uh, dockyard. Uh, right, so now here I got one, two, three. I can build two more cities on this uh, spit here if I really want to. Uh, so I'll clear that. So now I won't get any more barbarians from there. Okay, Alhambra's been built. Uh, I wasn't running for that one anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I'll clear this. Uh, so that that was okay. Uh, new population. I'm not going to complain about that because it went to the right city. And then there's one more uh, spot to clear there. Uh, I see there's 
one, two, three antiquity sites on this uh, island here. Uh, so that's kind of fun. Uh, so I'm going to park the uh, musket man in uh, in the city, uh, and then ultimately I'll uh, send. Uh, well, maybe I'll send the swordsman up up onto here. Great person, an engineer, 480 to a wonder. Uh, this is good. Okay, I'm going to. Aim for six there. Uh, okay. I'm four turns away there. So I'm going to send the engineer there. Uh, so that guy can park. Next turn I'll clear that. And then... Uh, Yeah, that'll be that'll be good. Uh, okay, that just about clears the uh, wonder there. Uh, what did I get there? I don't know what I got there because I wasn't actually at it. Uh, well, I'll go back into my territory there at least and. Uh, we a lot of whales. Huh. Uh, so this is coming up on turn 225 or so. Uh, ah, right. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to fill that in. I think I'll make the run for suffrage real soon now. Uh... Okay, what have I got here? Uh, I'm going to build one more art museum. And I can fill a policy spot. What? Uh, uh, what have we got here? Okay, it's an economic policy. Harbor, adjacency, culture, might be worth going for actually. Uh, housing with three districts. No, I'm going for the gold from uh, commercial buildings. Uh, something I want to check here. Um, uh, this engineer is actually not a bad one. What I'm looking for is the uh, the uh, engineers and uh, scientists that provide uh, um, extra um, uh, production on space race projects. Uh, there's one that provides plus 100%, so it doubles your uh, build rate for the spaceship stuff. Uh, there's one that provides 20%, uh, and there's an engineer and a scientist that each provide some amount of uh, production to, I think it's one of each anyway, that provides some amount of production toward the uh, projects. Um, so I'll uh, repeat that one. I'm just going to park this guy because I can use him later. Uh, let this one heal. Then I'm going to send him up here, collect this, and clear that. Um, okay, Spy did something useful in uh, London. That's good. So I got Oxford University, so that's, that's good. Uh, that's a science boost, so uh, definitely worth... Uh, going for there. I'm going to promote my spy. Counter spying seems like a good choice. Uh, what I want to look at here, uh, 
I want to go, I want urbanization actually, but uh, suffrage will need to pick that up. So uh, anyway, I'm going to make the run for suffrage. Uh, and here, right. You know, it might be worth building a sea dog. Uh, that's basically a privateer. No, I don't want to change governments. Uh, there's a bug with the notification on governments as well. There's a lot of bugs they haven't fixed that have been there since the start, and it's starting to get annoying. Uh, but these bugs are actually pretty much as annoying as some of the bugs in the uh, initial release of Civ Five, um, where uh, you know your workers would wake up uh, no matter what the uh, you know like if there was even a remote threat ten tiles away that wouldn't affect you. Uh, so you have to keep giving them orders turn after turn. So what have we got here? Uh, I'm going to do campus research there because I don't have much else doing. Um, anyway, I need to reassign my spy. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, now I can send this one up here because I want to clear that. The sea dog should be able to clear the uh, encampments, actually. Or not the encampments, the barbarian camps. Uh, okay, so this is coming up on 45 minutes or so by my clock, so uh, I'm going to uh, play out a few more turns here and I'll call it a part. Uh, this is effectively about halfway through turn-wise. Um, Depending how well things go uh, in the later game, it might be more than halfway, but time-wise, it's probably about halfway. Class struggle. So now we're going for nationalism, and rifling is coming up. So that's good, because once I have rifling, I can upgrade those uh, uh, swordsmen. Uh, that will be good. One thing I want to check is the uh, victory conditions. Uh, Egypt is leading for for uh, uh, culture. Uh, I'm ahead now for uh, uh, 36, 40. I'm ahead now for science. Uh, I expect to see some Egyptian missionaries soon. Uh, anyway, uh, back to actually managing the empire. Uh... Yeah, bank. I, I I would prefer to have a uh, oh uh, next population point I can build a harbor so that'd be good. Ah, uh, there's a, an Egyptian uh, apostle. Uh, so the conversion attempts are going to start. I think. Uh, what's this one? Oh. Uh, really not much doing there. I'm going to uh, pick up an archaeologist. Uh, now here I've got my uh, production buildings out. Uh, yeah, I think a campus would be a good idea, especially since there's a really good spot for one right here. Uh, that's going to complete in six turns, so that's not too bad. I'm going to get the Sea Dog here in London. Uh, right. So now I'm going to build out the uh, rest of the production buildings there. And I'm going to send the Sea Dog over here. What did I even get from that? Oh, was it the sanitation boost? This might actually be a good spot for a for a city. 
uh, oddly enough. Uh, so that's going to point us Aries, but if I... No, the production's better if I keep it. So I'm going to move this guy. Oh, I'm probably going to lose this guy on account of this a barbarian frigate. Yeah. Uh, okay, the merchant. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, of course, take the guy. Uh, right. I think a monument would be a good idea. Uh, okay. So that's envoys, which is good. So, let's see. Yeah, I am. The question is, does he turn on the uh, sea dog? I should bring my frigate up. You know, what was I thinking? Turned on the sea dog. Uh huh. Means I need to run away. Okay, A factory in London. You may have noticed that I don't move my uh, traders around and build roads in every which way. Uh, I find that's not terribly necessary for the most part, so I don't bother with the uh, confusion of uh, doing that. Um, okay. Military Academy. That provides housing, so I should build it. Uh, now I'll send that one to Birmingham. Okay, so now I'm taking some shots there. Uh, yep, you can, I can clear it, so that's good. Uh, a privateer should be able to do the same thing. Anyway, uh, that's turn uh, 236 that we're on here. Uh, okay, so that's a campus, library, uh, right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to call it here uh, at the end of turn 236. So that's the end of part four. I'll be, uh, I'll be back uh, at some point here with part five. Uh, I'll just give a quick overview here. Uh, doing reasonably well in the victory conditions. You need to keep an eye on this stuff. Uh, so that's all for uh, for this part. So I'm going to save my game, and uh, I guess I'll see you back for the next part. Uh, and if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.